around six months ago, I downloaded Unity for the first time. And this is my six month Unity progression. But let's rewind a little bit. Ever since I was a kid, I loved games and technology. I've always wanted to make my own game. So when I turned 12, I got my first ever PC that I had to share with my brother. But nonetheless, I was really happy and excited. So I searched the internet and found out about two really good game developing engines, Unreal and Unity. I chose Unreal because a lot of AAA games were made with it, including Borderland, Gears of War and many more. Sure was gonna be complicated, but nothing's too complicated for a genius like me, I thought. Well, I thought wrong. Within a month of using Unreal, I quit. So I had to bury my dream for game development. Until two years later, YouTube decides to suggest a video of Danny to me. During this time, I'd gotten my own laptop, so this was the perfect timing. This time, I decided to give Unity a chance as there was a wider community and I could easily copy, I mean, learn to code. And coding makes me look cool. So I downloaded Unity and opened my first ever Unity project. Now, without any idea, I searched the internet and found a tutorial series by Bracky. After following the series, I slowly started understanding game development and after a few days I had a pretty functional game. I was thrilled and excited, but I knew I could do better. So I decided on turning this game into somewhat of a mobile game. I started off by adding UI buttons as they automatically work with touch. Then I modified the script a bit and boom, our cube could now move with touch. I wanted to add more mini games, so I added a simple game mode from where blocks fall from the sky and we have to dodge them. I also created a game mode where we had to shoot the cubes to get points. This was how it looked at the end. I felt really happy but at the same time I felt unmotivated to work on the game anymore. So I took a month break because I had exams and also brainstormed ideas I could use for the next game. I decided to create an FPS game. Such a unique idea, it had never been done before. I started off by adding a bean and giving him the ability to move and jump. Then I hopped into a blender to create an enemy model. After a few weeks, I had a simple enemy model. I then added an armature which is basically giving our model bones. Well now we have an enemy who does absolutely nothing. So I started working on the enemy AI. And boom, now he follows me when we get close to him. Now we need some guns. So I modeled a few guns. The game was good at this point, but I wanted to make it better. So I added a grapple gun and a jetpack. And boom, there we have it, a simple FPS game. The game is nowhere complete. I actually wanted to make this game commercial. I will be keeping you posted up if you want to learn more about the game. I've made a specific devlog to it. I wanted to work more on the game, but it felt tiring. So I wanted to work on another small project. I saw that a lot of people were playing Minecraft at that time, and I wanted to hop on the trend as well. But the game was too expensive so I was left with no choice but to make my own version of Minecraft. I started by adding a bean and giving him the ability to move and jump. Now what Minecraft does, it creates these chunks which are made up by 16 by 16 cubes. I think. Now what that essentially does, it makes the game run more smoothly because it only creates the faces you can see. I have no idea what I just said there. So after following a tutorial, I made a very optimized Minecraft chunk. So now we just have to spawn a lot of these. Perfect. Now we have to work on the infinite terrain generation. So what Minecraft does is unloads new chunks which when you move and offloads the ones that are behind you, making it look like there is an infinite terrain. And after a few failed attempts I had this. Now we just have to add some Perlin noise. It's basically randomness on the Y axis but with some pattern to it. So yeah, there we have it, Minecraft. Well, except we can't mine or craft. So I added the ability to add and remove blocks and that was all I did for that game. I also made a detailed video so if you're interested be sure to check it out. At this point we were 5 months into our game development journey. I was going to go back and work on the FPS game but I saw that a lot of people on KSI's reddit wanted a game with a sidemen. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and create a sidemen game. I started by creating a simple pixel art for KSI. I then added him into the project and animated him. And now our KSI could run and jump. Well KSI wants some guns. So I created some guns and then added them into the project. I started setting the guns up and soon enough we could shoot. Except we have nobody to shoot at. So I created an enemy and then wrote a lot of code. And now the enemy's gun rotate towards us when we get close. And when we get close enough he starts shooting. 
perfect now we just have to add all the other sidemen so i created sprites for all of them and boom there we have it a sidemen game That marks the end of my 6 month journey progression. I can't believe how far I've come and I can't wait for what the future holds. If you liked any of these projects, I've made specific devlogs to all of them. So be sure to check them out and if you liked the video, smash subscribe, like, share and I'm out. Peace.